worry. Where are we off to, Caitlin? We are setting up some black lights collecting insects. Let's see what kind of diversity we have on Lake okay, good. How does that work? Uh, black light attracts um, insects. It sort of makes, it confuses insects. They get attracted to the light like the moon. It attracts uh, mostly moths and beetles we're gonna be out there for some a while. other Probably some aquatic species because we're right next to the mango. Oh, okay. So we're trying to put it in a commanding area where as much of the island is in view as possible, but also a little less windy. So I think we have a good spot right around the cove. So we'll set it up, we'll wait like three hours, and then we'll come out and see what we've got. And if not, we'll have a disco. I said before, a commanding view of the islands, but also a little bit of a wind block. So the further in we go, the more wind block we get, but the further out we come, we can still get some of that area over there that makes it to see the Is it going to fly from over there? I've come that far for a black light. Sure. Should I? So how come no insects have uh, developed black lights on their bums? Well, if you turn on a UV light in nature, you'll see a lot of flowers are, have UV in them. Oh yeah. So they're attracted to UV. Um, if I come back as an insect, I'm going to grow a black light. <laughs> what have you got in your head there, Luke? This is my um, bedazzler. It's the only one of its kind. I'll show you how it works later.